All right, welcome back everybody. Well, I'm kind of doing some track work still. Um, in the last video we got that uh, structure right there put in in the track. Um, coming off of here is the industrial lead. Comes across through here. And in this area, my original plan was to do a power plant here and then off to the right in the corner uh, over that way, um, uh, a water treatment plant. But I actually think I'm gonna drop the water treatment plant or at least in this location. And the reason is I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna do the power plant um, a little bit bigger. And this gives me room to do that. So um, what I'm actually gonna do is the industrial lead's gonna come back through here and it's gonna curve and go right into a, that's the footprint of a plan I'll show in a minute. And it's actually gonna have a, two tracks. So there'll be sort of double track coming across here and then pinch down to one to go into the plant. And the idea is the yard crew would bring loaded coal hoppers and drop them on one of the two tracks and I'll have a small like 44 tonner or something here working the plant to actually push the loaded hoppers in, get them unloaded, pull them and put them on the other track. It's basically switch here. So um, then the yard crew could come back and grab the empty ones and, and classify it over in the yard with everything else. Um, building this much space between also allows me to kind of transition. You wouldn't have a power plant right on top of the downtown buildings at least I don't think so this will allow me to put some like trees and kind of end that scene and kind of start a new one here uh, this way so uh, like I said um, putting it in the corner like this actually allows me um, I was contemplating a bit of a kit bash but I've got this nice kind of old school power plant that I think looks cool and I'll be able to build it just like that and it'll fit, there's its footprint. And you can see where I've, I don't know if you can quite see that, but I've drawn a couple of lines where the track will come, you know, off the end of that turnout and go right in. This little bump out thing is the hopper car unloading area. So this would be what it looks like from the aisle. That'll be the view. And I like that. I think that's pretty cool for this corner. Um, be some good operational interest. Give me a reason to have another you know, switch engine going on over here to, uh, to swap those hopper cars out. Now, in front of that industrial track, I've got the main. That's where I've drawn the line. So that actually would connect. That's the main, the first ballasted track right there. That's the main. And the two tracks next to it are arrival departure tracks. Never mind these curves. That's from the old layout. That's all coming out. This will be a straight shot. But let's follow the main comes along here. There is a crossover, so the industrial, uh, this would be the end of the industrial line. Crossover, and there's actually, it's really far away, but there's another one down there uh, where it comes off. So you can run around things as you need to uh, with that crossover. So following the main into that crossover, a little bit of straight and then a 32 inch radius curve through here and connecting over to the old creek scene y'all remember from before. So that's the plan. I'd like to get this main in, forget about the other tracks, get the main in, get this kit built and get the, uh, the industrial, the end of the industrial line here and the power plant trackage in and wired. So that's the plan.
All right, quick break in the time lapse here. So you can see the two new pieces of track, the main line and the industrial line uh, that I did on the time lapse already. And uh, originally I had said I was going to uh, have the spur to the power plant uh, start here and then have a crossover after it. However, if I put the cross crossover after it, then one of the two tracks for the power plant will foul the ability for the industrial switcher to run around its train. Um, so I'm actually gonna switch it around. I'm gonna move this turn out that away and put a crossover in uh, between the industrial lead and the main before it. And it does shorten things down here um, by probably two car lengths, but that's okay. I'd rather have this activity here not foul the crossover over to the main. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, off camera, I've kind of built the crossover. This is, it's upside down uh, so that I could solder the, uh, the, the feeder wires on. Um, but I built this little crossover to fit. Um, and I've got my feeders soldered to the bottom of the rail. Uh, that's, I like to do that, um, make some kind of invisible. I did that over here. And once I ballast that, you'd never know those wires are there. They're underneath the rail. So I'm gonna drill some holes uh, where, the, where the wires will need to drop uh, and I'm gonna install this crossover. So we'll flip back to time-lapse for that and uh, see you on the other side. All right, quick in progress here. I've got the, the drone out. Um, looking down the main, those boxcars are sitting on the main. And where the track is unpainted is, uh, is what we've added. So you can see the main uh, hits the crossover. Um, haven't really messed with the track um, over by the power plant in the corner, other than I know where uh, it's going to split into two. I'm going to do it right off the crossover like we talked about. But off camera, I went ahead and added the curve. Oh no, I did that. <laughs> we, we did have a time lapse of that. Um, and I did off camera splice in the main. So now the main is continuous all the way over into the ye old creek scene. So now I'm starting to mess with the first two of those turnouts uh, coming off the creek scene. Uh, those are the two arrival departure tracks. And so I'm starting to uh, mess with the alignment of those. Those are not glued down. I'm just kind of laying them out. Uh, the two pieces of flex track are um, soldered together. So there's two pair soldered together. They come to right here. So let me pull back out so you can see where we are. And I need to come in and mess with the alignment. As you can see from the tie marks in the old paint, this is where uh, things used to curve off uh, into the creek scene as mentioned before. So uh, this is all a process of extending the yard so I'm gonna probably, wherever this curve started in here, right in here, break that glue, straighten her out. And, uh, and same thing on this track, you can see the curve starting there. So I need to pop that glue out, straighten this out, um, and then I'll end up splicing that all together. So making progress, and I'm pretty happy with well, it. Well, I realize uh, I have not videotaped my progress in some time uh, since the last video, The uh, the leaves have turned out, the pollen is everywhere, 
Um, it's moving on towards summer already. Um, I just turned the AC unit off that's up there so that you could hear me and uh, realized I had not I had not captured really anything uh, in quite a while. So I've actually got the yard, uh, all the track, all the track laid, all seven tracks, um, all the way around. So the yard is in. Um, I'm gonna be moving on to the power plant area as well as, I think I covered this already, but the, uh, the water treatment, which will be in the aisle instead of on the back. So I won't really have any structures to speak of here. It'll just be a, a, a two track place to park chemical cars, etc. cetera. Um, you know, thinking that it's tied into that Creek somehow, uh, in the aisle. And so I'll be working on those two things. Um, I've got all kinds of feeders dropped underneath here that I have to connect. Uh, but the stuff that is connected, which is all but these last five, which are just the last five yard tracks here, uh, the stuff that is connected, I've tested, it works fine. Um, everything's good. And so here we are. Apologies for not bringing you along with me, but uh, I got to just, I got to go in and, uh, and I just kept going. So here we are, um, continuing to make progress. I really do want to get, uh, get things operational and that's going to mean following the main back this way. Sorry if I'm making you sick. Uh, through the creek and then over behind a new section that'll go right here and behind that backdrop that's not in yet and where all the tools are to staging back there. So that's what I've got my, my eyes on here as, uh, as we continue to work on the new version. So again, sorry I didn't bring you along for a whole lot of that, but uh, that's where we are today and more to come. I'll try to be better about, uh, about filming. Thanks y'all. Be well and be safe.